Hello, and welcome. I'm Zinder, and here we are once again playing Resident Rise. Now, one of the first things I want to do is I want to make some runes of sacrifice. Now, they're made, as you can see here. Uh, the reason for this is we're going to need a Tier 3 altar in order to make some of the things that I'm after. Now, I made these extra blood runes because, unfortunately, I don't have quite enough runes of sacrifice because I need more of the imbued slates in order to finish that off. Plus, I don't have the original eight made, but I'll make more of the slates off camera. Uh, there's probably going to be a cut somewhere during this episode because of how I'm going to be doing things here. Uh, I don't have any stone on me. Well, you know, the stone bricks. But that's because I'm going to show you what I got set up off camera. I hooked up the uh, remote pipe to... You know, I have an ender pouch, and I have it hooked up to an ender chest of the same coloring. And now I can just right-click, and... Oh no, I forgot some stone bricks. Well, let's just request a stack of those. And if I open my ender chest, or ender pouch, there we go. So, what I'm going to do here... Is I don't need you at the moment. I'm going to take these, place them in the positions they need to be... I will leave those two spaces open for the empty ones. And then I'll leave the outside two here, because I'd like at least a little bit of symmetry in this. So that goes there. That, that does not go there. And I knocked out my bricks. Lovely. Okay. What have I done here? Have I screwed up? Uh, I think I might have screwed up on my math. Okay, I didn't might have screwed up on my math. I completely screwed up on my math. I need an additional one, two, two, three. I look great. No, I'm an idiot. I need two. Yeah, that sounds right. Unless I accidentally destroyed them. Oh, I did accidentally destroy them. I didn't screw up my math. I just had... Click fast. Now, I believe the glowstone needs to be in the very corners of, oddly enough, where the building's at. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I have it on fast mode because... Oh, that'll work. I was doing some work with the, uh, digging out the base, which hopefully there should be time for that. I'm hoping this doesn't take too long. At some point, I'm going to implement, like, a... Okay, zombies, you're obnoxiously loud. I'm going to implement something in the game that can actively tell me my time spent recording. Well, crap. Did I get four? No, I got three. This is the perfect moment for this. So, give me one, re uh, one glowstone dust, please. Okay. Blocks keep falling on my head. Now, worst case scenario, I'm an idiot and I've placed all of these in the wrong spot. But, uh, they're probably one too high, aren't they? You know what? It doesn't matter. Let's just request me 16 more of these and I'll just place them on the ones directly below. Right. Here we go. So this should be right. I don't see why it wouldn't be. Unless I somehow missed a rune somewhere, but it doesn't appear that way. So, let's just put these here. 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 And here. Ah, now you're a tier 3. I'll probably resolve that eventually. Now, I did make a second uh, orb, as you may have noticed. Shut up. You know what? Let's just turn your volume down. Shut up. I need your blood for my altar anyhow. Uh, children don't count, including the small zombies. They will not earn you any LP, and as you saw, the Dagger of Sacrifice will not kill them. So we have 87.50. If I were to kill one of these guys, we now get 98... We're now up to 98.70. Which means we got roughly 13, actually exactly 1,300 from them. 
Uh, every one of these runes of sacrifice increases the amount of blood gained, in this case, because they're sacrifice and not self-sacrifice, by an additive 10%. So we're getting a 160% increase. Now, if we take these slates, hopefully... I'm going to need to make the better orb, unfortunately. And I'll probably have to make more runes, but uh, I'll deal with that later. I should have plenty enough. I want to make some... I want to make uh, Elemental Affinity, which is going to require me to make these. Uh, oh, right. I had this thing set up. I didn't actually do any auto-crafting with it, oddly enough. Oh, come on. Uh, unfortunately, there's this slight downside of clicking it as a pain. Uh, extraction filter... Active with signal. You know, I could probably put a torch somewhere to deal with. Torch? Not torch. Uh, anyhow, give me that back. Now, if we take the imbued slate and put it in there, we'll get one of these, or the reinforced slate, we'll get the imbued slate, which can be used in a couple of different runes, but it's also used in the sigil of holding, which can hold up to four sigils. It's used in the sigil of elemental affinity, which will, as you can read, perfect for a fire breathing fish who is afraid of heights. It gives you. No full damage when activated, underwater breathing, and immunity to lava. So that's that's really useful. Now, the Phantom Bridge, it's not quite flying. It provides phantom blocks under you that you can actually place blocks into. But it's very good for if you need to go through the air and don't necessarily want to fly. Now, all of these take... Uh, oh, and this will provide light. So, all of these will provide... Actually, let me just show you... Let me get this set up now, since I can. If I take... Th not that. If I take this, I place it here. So I'm going to need... Let's sort this out real quick. Two, three, four... Because there's no reason not to make magnetism. Seven. So what I can do... Is I can put... Uh... I'll put five, because I've already got one in there. Oh, drought of blood. So I'm going to sit here. I'm going to get these seven slates cooked up, and uh, then we'll move on from there. So I'll be with you shortly. And we are back. Okay, so I have, as you can see, got myself a magician's blood orb, which this was a bit of a pain. 25,000 in an altar that only holds 10,000 be a bit of a problem to work with. I had to let some of the zombies build up. I had to finish the uh, sacrifice runes. And I built 28 more. This is for the next step, which we can't actually do right now. Now, there is a few things we need to do to get there, but I want to make all of those slates and stuff. So, I took the courtesy of going and getting myself some lava. Oop, not you. And yeah, I'm crafting from down here. So, now I'll put the six lava in here. I, uh... Okay, there we go. I also went and cleared out the... Hmm, that must be in the bag. Yeah. I went and cleared out the Triton dungeon, because I didn't want to actually go through the effort of making lava crystals. And so I ended up with that. Now I'm going to hope... Oops, I actually wanted that. Uh, move out of my way for a moment. I'm actually going to sit here and hope that it doesn't consume the buckets. What am I, looking? I know what I'm looking for, but I can't find it. Ah, there we go. Now, I don't believe... No, that's not what I meant to do. I think I might have... No, I don't have a magma cream. Oops. Okay, screwing it up. It's actually early morning the next day. Or maybe the day after, I'm not sure. So, yeah. Not quite as awake and prepared as I could be. And I'm sure my voice sounds a bit scratchy. There we go. Yeah, I could have just done this in there. Come back here. So I'm going to need two slime balls. 
I'm really not as prepared as I could have been, that's for sure. Okay, two of those. Lava Sigil. Two blank slates. Is that everything? Looks like it. Bang. Oh good, I do get my buckets back. This is good. This makes this far simpler. And I'm making two of these because I want to have one for sure because then I can generate more lava. And I'm going to need... Not there. I need to look over here. It should be right next to it. Water sigil. Oh, I need a seventh bucket. That's slightly unpleasant. Uh, I'll make that in my pocket crafting table. For clearing out the Triton dungeon, I just used the uh, modular force field again. But what I did was I went through and selectively picked everything I wanted. Because a lot of that... A lot of the stuff that's in there, especially like the different bars for metallurgy and stuff, they're not really of interest to me. So they're not, you know, anything I terribly need. I wish I could shift click into this table. Oh, right, I need slates. Two more of you, please. I really don't need a second water sigil, but I figure. While I'm at it, I might as well. And with my luck, I'm going to have counted improperly and not have enough for two of each. Because... Well, and to make all of the other things. You know what? Let's check my slates. I still have seven, so I should have plenty enough. Right, because I don't need the imbued for this. Derp. Oh, wow, I can just barely fit this in here. Okay. Now, I'm sure you see some other things in here. I went and made these inks. This one's a lapis block in a thousand. Magma cream in a thousand. Obsidian in a thousand. And a gas tier in a thousand. These are used as part of the, uh, the ritual making process. And by the time you make it that far, you might as well just go straight into the ritual diviner. Because this will build the rituals for you. And I need to make the ritual to get the bound blade, but then I'm going to have to go through and make this, which I don't think I have the obsidian for these at the moment. I should have the slates now, in theory. I'm going to need seven crafts, six for the stones, if my math is right, which it should be. Actually, there's a really easy way to tell. If we sit... If we go through here, Ritual of Binding, and when I mouse over it, it needs eight blank stones, and then four of each of the other colors, and zero dusk. Now, this diviner doesn't even support dusk at the moment. Uh, if you look, you can upgrade to get dusk, but this requires a tier four altar, which we do not have. You need to do the Ritual of Binding to get that, so you need 24 stones for that, and I really don't think I have what it's going to take. Well, actually, I might. Do I have the obsidian? Uh, I ended up being an obsidian short. Hmm. Uh, you know what? Let's just make what we can. I believe I'm going to need 28. And... Oh, yeah, I'm short. Yeah, I'm going to need five more obsidian. Eh, that's a bit of a letdown, but what are you going to do? Oh, and of course, of course, of course. So you know what? Let's take the lava and water sigil that we're going to be keeping a hold of. Oh, you stay there. And we will walk out here. I'll kick up a patch of land. Put water and lava. Put this on fast. 
Now, if we look, uh, my network can go up to 150,000 now that I made that new orb. And if I make this lava, that's a thousand LP per piece of lava. But you know what? I can easily fly over there and restore that, no problem. You know what? I might as well just make the next. I might as well just make four more while I'm at it. There we go. I'll just leave that water there. Now my LP network's down to 129,900, but as long as I don't go around spamming lava like I just did, that shouldn't really be an issue. So I'll throw this back in here. Uh, I'm going to request all seven of these, since they don't need to be in there now. What am I missing? Oh, I need to make another air sigil. Now, I should have all the materials for this. Right? So, button. Okay, good, good. Now, there we go. Sigil of Elemental Affinity. Now, as you can see, our inventory is getting a bit overloaded. Oh, is this? Oh, okay, that takes tier 5. Okay. I was curious. I hadn't actually looked. That gives us a speed boost, which I kind of want, but I can't get yet. Uh, magnetism, you're going to take a little bit of work to put together at the moment, so, Sigil of Holding, where are you? There you are. Now, we're going to require four slates, and three stone, bam, now, just to make sure I don't end up with ones I don't want inside of here. Uh, void's nice and all, but I don't need it all the time. What I'm going to do is I should now be able to just... There. Now as you can see, it's holding three sigils. I can shift right click to switch between them. And... Yeah, good to go on that one. I can now breathe underwater if I use the Sigil of Elemental Affinity. Uh, the other Sigil I'm probably going to put in there at some point is going to be the Phantom Bridge, which I believe we can make now, and I think I, that was the other one I wanted to make. Yeah, that looks right. I should have Soul Sand. Cool. And I have Stone. Cool. Nice. That's, uh... Oh. Why are you not... Can you not go in there? Are you too new or something? What's going on here? Huh. Weird. Oh, that's why. Well, I never activated the Sigil of Elemental Affinity. Yeah, weird. Okay, so, let's check this out. If we go outside and activate it. Now, should be able to just say... No? Why are you not functioning? There we go. Am I doing something wrong here? I'm going to actually need to look more into this, but as you see, it leaves a little phantom bridge that we can walk around on. Which is really nifty. Uh, let's have a look. Now, any single time you see the particles come up off... It drains a little bit of LP, and that was about 132, it looks like. So that's not bad. That's every, like, what, 10 seconds or so? I mean, it's not really creative flight, and I'm not entirely sure how to go down other than some... Uh. Ow. 
I'm sure there's some finicky ways and whatnot that I can use it. I'll have to look up on that, but I'm sure you can see the use of it. And it's also got another very, very good use. Which is, say I were to go up here. Okay. Apparently not as simply as I'd like it to be. We activate our phantom bridge. And I want to put down this piece of dirt. If I right click on the bridge, it puts it in the bridge. So it actually has a really good use. But we don't need this at the moment, so turn you off. And I wanted to make a sigil of magnetism, which I needed... Oh, uh, where are you? I believe it was four iron blocks? You know what, let's just find it again. Four iron blocks and three gold. So we will make our iron blocks. Okay. Get our three gold. And that should be everything. So then this is obviously really handy because if you ever use the coin of fortune from Reliquary or any other of the uh, magnety type things, this instantly pulls it into you from, I believe, up to five blocks away, but it doesn't suffer some of the same downsides as such as the Corn of Fortune, which is, it tries to teleport it to your feet, and it does some really funky things sometimes. And I still have three sigils left. What was the last one I wanted to make? Oh, this one. Okay. So we're going to need some glowstone blocks. So I suppose we'll get 16... I believe that was what I needed. 16? Yeah. Throw you in there. Okay. There we go. I'm uh, going to need a torch. And that should... There we go. Now I have to put this orb back in over there. I can't think of anything off hand I was going to make oh I can make the uh, the ritual stuff now as well not sure what the timer's like but I've already started so I might as well finish what oh whoops here we go and we're gonna need oh it doesn't use up the lava crystals cool I thought it did that's convenient. However, we are going to use up one of these lava crystals over in the uh, thing. Let's just turn this on. Look, I can't drown. Woohoo! I also can't take fall damage. I'm curious as to how much that drains. I should only have that sigil active. Uh, ooh, that's about 400. I, that's understandable, considering how powerful it is. Okay, there's 10,000 LP in here. As you can tell, I left the, uh, the other pieces of glowstone there. I just don't care as much as I should. Every zombie with my current number of runes is worth roughly uh, 1,900 LP now. So that's extremely useful. I've been getting a lot of zombie heads. Ah, uh, weak activation crystal. Now, the thing about the ritual of binding, I don't know why, but I always feel like it should be on the top of a mountain. And especially far away from trees. And it doesn't need to be anywhere chunklet. You know what? No, no, no. I was going to put it on the the uh, slime island over there, but I think I'm going to use that for my craft infusion crafting when I get around to it. So. Stop. See, I have to destroy these because 
that will get in the way of the diviner placing the ritual. Oh, of course that would happen. Okay, now with any luck, it's always good to have some snow. This should place everything just fine. Actually, it might not have gotten in the way. Eh, who knows. As you can see, I can just right click on the ritual stone and it will start placing them. Now, I've forgotten a very important part of this. Uh, of course, the snow's clogging up my inventory too much. I don't need limestone and marble or comatite. Okay. I do need is a stick. It doesn't always update properly because of how this is working. I technically don't have a chunk loader in my base and it shouldn't even work at all. Uh, it's kind of causing a chunk to load whenever I click. So then it loads the chunk, it loads the first chest it hits, and then I have to refresh it. So this costs roughly, I think like a couple thousand LP. And we'll just right click on the Master Ritual Stone. These stones are in here, right? Yeah. I forgot to bind it. Put out the fire, just in case it shouldn't strike the middle again. And once the ritual finishes, plop. Now, this costs LP while it's active, but the benefit is harder mobs, ones that are likely to survive more than one hit, such as our little friend. Is he up on the surface? Yes, he is. Like this guy here they will have a chance to drop a weak blood shard. Now, we didn't get one there. However, it's not going to really matter because I, how I have the setup over here in the ominous woods. I should be able to kill these guys pretty readily. Uh, let's check my LP. 11, or 118,000. Now, I got a weak blood shard. As you can see there. And I think I'm going to go for another one. As you can see, it drains LP. It's not draining it too terribly fast. But it does drain it. So you don't want to leave it on all the time. I'm on. And as you can see, there's a reinforced slate in here. I'm not sure why I left it in there. But it's, it's there. And I left the dagger in there as well. Is it so much to ask for a second shard? Like, really? <laughs> like, I realize it's just a chance, and they have to have the debuff from the first hit on them, so you'd never want to actually one-shot anything with the bound blade. But, I mean, come on. Ow. Really? Really? And to think, I'm going to need a metric ton of these in order to make my uh, armor. Okay, two's good for now. Turn you off. Switch you back. We'll fly back over the house quick. We're pretty much done at this point, although I want to get something done here. We're going to request a stone. And we're going to add one of those. And we are good there. Now there is a way to make these. But it costs imbued slates. But you get five of them. And I'll probably end up doing that due to the number of lower level slates I have. But we need these. And I should probably grab two stacks of bricks. And these 28 runes of sacrifice. We're going to get ourselves to a tier 4 altar before I finish this up. Might be a bit too long, and I apologize for my voice being a bit scratchy at the uh, last half of this, but 
it, it happens. Uh, I need to go down one more. Uh, right here in the corners, it needs to come up. And then... I believe this is the right spot. Should take seven per side. Oh, come on. That doesn't seem right. These two corner ones don't need to be here. You know, this is a good situation for my sigil of magnetism. What am I doing? That was the wrong block to break. Now, these these blocks are, of course, in the right place. It's just that some of them are not. I'm just going to leave the sigil on. Because it doesn't really matter. Did I bring the orb? Oh, it did. It'll pick itself back up. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Put that in there. Sacrifice a few zombies and go back to what I was doing. Now, the reason why we needed the bloodstone bricks is because they're part of this altar. Which you'll see in just a second. They go in the corners if you haven't already established the same way the glowstone did. But the easy way to remember where they go is the fact that they're supposed to be one block higher than the glowstone. As far as I've been able to establish in my interpretation of the pictures, that's the easiest way to deal with it. Oh, come on. So where this upper glowstone is, is where these should be. Uh, I don't need you anymore. Go away, Chocopedia. Stop. Uh, where is my sigil? Oh, okay, there we go. Oh, pain. Yeah, talk about landing. Now, if we have a look-see here, this should be Tier 4, and it is. Which means that I could make a Well of Suffering and have it automatically kill these guys now if I wanted to. But, uh... That would require digging out underneath, and... I mean, I've already got a Master Blood Orb, which is one of the primary ma major things. I can now put it in here, and charge it, and it'll bring my LP network up to a whopping 1 million maximum but as you can see that's used to make the sigil of haste which if I had obsidian and an upgraded slate we could actually do right now but I don't sigil of the whirlwind just deflects projectiles and spells and it's not really too terribly useful and then these cores I believe are used for the new spells but what I'm going to do is I'm going to get more weak blood shards and the things we need prepared for the armor in between the episodes. But for now, I'm going to call this good, and I will see you guys next time. Have a good day.